Hey friends, this is Matthew Cross. You might have seen him as the center court referee for some of the best pickleball matches in recent years. Apart from being an amazing referee, he also is an avid pickleball instructor, coaching many 5.0 and pro level players and playing at the 5.0 level himself. Today, he's going to teach me how to hit ground strokes like a tennis player. So the purpose of this video is to help players who already have quite good games but don't come from a background of tennis where they're used to hitting accurate, powerful ground strokes. I see a lot of excellent players who come from other sports and they quickly master the volley, the short game, the strategy, but their game is hitting the wall because they don't have accurate, powerful ground strokes. Here is a strategy to stabilize their ground strokes. So just to remind you, we always want to have a forward field of, field of vision and paddle position. It's important in pickleball that we are aware of this field of vision and that we're always making contact in this field of vision. We can keep the ball in our peripheral vision. We can keep our opponents in our peripheral vision and see which way they're moving. Our opponents love it when we move out of our field of vision and stretch. Now we have a blind spot that they can exploit. Think of a hula hoop that roughly is our field of vision. Forward athletic stance. Now it's here. Um, in tennis, we might look down more, but in pickleball, it's too fast for that. So we always have to be taking the ball out here. And especially when we're at the kitchen, we really do this, which is extreme, and we hinge our wrist extremely to take it far in front of us. In a ground strike, we're still taking the ball in front of us. We don't have time for a huge backswing, but we compensate with a long, quick follow through. This is Matthew's demonstration of the correct athletic stance. The key points here are that his knees are slightly bent in the same way that they would be during a squat or as if he was about to jump. His weight is on the balls of his feet, not in the heels or toes, and perhaps most importantly, he is keeping his paddle around chest height and out in front of him, looking to make contact in this peripheral field of vision that he previously talked about. Matthew uses a continental grip, meaning the V of his thumb and index finger is directly on the side of the paddle. I personally use more of an eastern grip, but I think you'll find most pros and higher level players prefer the continental grip. Notice he's looking to make contact around his front knee, his legs are slightly bent, and his back foot is turned slightly so that he can push off of it and generate force by rotating his hips. On the backhand side, we see much of the same thing. Slightly bent legs, contact point in front of his forward leg, and weight on the balls of his feet. But for players unfamiliar with ground strokes, this might feel very unnatural. And that's where we can use a broom to get a little more comfortable. The sweeping motion of a broom is super similar to hitting a ground stroke, with the main difference just being the hand position. So Matthew demonstrated how that would look on both the forehand and backhand side by literally using a broom to sweep the court. After that, he transitioned to a smaller version of a broom handle and performed the same sweeping motion before finally flipping over his hands and holding it like he would hold a pickleball paddle. Without the broom, we just have a broom handle. We have this kind of stirring grip. And if we were sweeping with our backhand, like that. One of the tricks of then finding the backhand grip is just simply turning it over. Yeah. If it were one hand. Okay. Longer follow through. Good. Yep. Now demonstrate the backhand that way. The other way. Yes, exactly. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter what grip, but that's gonna be it. Perfect. Now let's see, you, you can incorporate that into your ground stroke. That motion, that point of contact in front of the forward foot. Looks good. Yeah. Take your time. Awesome. Let's see the backhand. That's beautiful balance. You can pose at the end of your shot. But you can check the rotation. We'll talk more about that later. Nice. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Good.